Hey guys, Maximal Primal here, and we're back with some more Fallout New Vegas now. Yeah, in the last part, we pretty much go around here, and we've been told by the guy that we can't seem to do anything. So, what I'm going to have to do is now, is I'm going to talk to the main guy back over here. But I've been told that those guys got backstabbed, which is kind of calm what they did to me, but hey ho. Sounds like this guy's a prick and needs to die, which he will probably. I hope. I don't know. How are the negotiations with the Grey Cons going? You mean, just let them go? How would I explain this to my superiors? Five hundred caps would go a long way for some soldiers' families. You're asking me to accept a bribe. I'd like to make sure the risk to my career and freedom benefits the families of my troops. This doesn't feel quite right, but it resolves things and gets my troopers back in one piece. Shoot. It's one of the biggest sources of electrical mm. power in the region, so the NCRs fortified the place pretty heavily. When President Kimball shows up on his inspection tour, I'm sure he'll be confident that the dam's safe and secure. Destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam a couple years ago, the town was set up as a trap for Caesar's Legion. The sharpshooters and the Rangers picked off the Legion's veterans from a distance, and the rest of the Legion just rushed on in. Then boom. Camp McCarran is the headquarters for the NCR military in this region. It occupies the old airport next to New Vegas. It's probably just a political thing. You know, give a few speeches, shake hands with the troops, boost morale. They're an outlaw group primarily trafficking in drugs and other contraband. They usually stay out of NCR territory, though. All right. Sir? I'm not really a sir, because I eat people, but, you know, like, bitch, I actually eat people, you know. Poof! Okay. Sorry, I had to say poof randomly because of my hamster. I've got a habit of saying poofy and poof to him. It's very, it's a very dumb habit. But hell, if this works out right, we should be able to trade them. But worst scenario, I could just kill them. Actually, hang on a minute. Really? Thanks for the rescue. Oh, God. Right, I'm gonna have to stop using that weapon because that will actually get them killed. Oh, 
I just realised I could have just untied them. I paid 500 caps for nothing. It'd be nice if I could have to get them back at some point, but whatever. Hello. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, if I knew, then I wouldn't have paid. But then I could. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Lesson learned. This is a lesson learned to you guys. You know, just make sure to check every possible angle because I didn't know that. Can't talk. We didn't get all the great content. I'm a bit concerned that something's gone wrong. We didn't get all the great cards, but I freed them. Hang on, let me check something on the map. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm not, you know what I'm going to do? Like, I'm thinking that there's alternate endings and I haven't looked it up but there was someone on YouTube actually I was looking up lore about the games and stuff because um, I wanted to read about the previous games like Fallout 1, 2 and games are probably not on here and um, it's about like, oh, good endings so it's like, oh, I didn't look at them, don't worry but I'm assuming that there's different endings so just to be safe, I'm going to try and play the good ending. Or play like the normal ending, just do whatever. So I'm going to try and get good standards for everyone. The best I can. Oh, I'll be nice to everyone, but I'm just saying. Glad that's over. Thank you. Oh, I get it, and so all the great cans are gone. I'm gonna have one more look just to make sure because I want to try and get good standards. Unless it's because I shot one of them by accident. Never gone up against great cons before. Man, this place is a mess. Beats going up against the Legion.
I've got you now. Brown tail. Oh crap! That pest. I got an idea, but I'm gonna have to get outside. I'm gonna try something. Because I can't do this inside. If I do it, I'm gonna die. Come on, follow me out. There we go. That worked. Due respect, that's kind of is what they get for like what they did to me. So they're disgusted with me then. Oh no, 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 I thought it was the town that was unhappy with me. Hey. Did I get them all now? I mean. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Okay. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect it, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus who does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. 
No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Huh? You want to talk some more? Oh, that's right. Here, let me show you what I've got on hand. Wow, that was interesting. Hey. I'm glad that's over. Thank you. Let's go in here. Like I said, there's probably quests I need to do. Oh no. No, I can't do it in here. Damn it, again. Hang on. Um. There. So which save is it? There we go. So we'll, if it fails, then we know what to do. I do want to point this out that it's not the same every time, so some people are trying to use my videos away to figure out how to use these terminals. They're random every time, so I wouldn't exactly, you know. I'm not saying they are, if they aren't random, then fair enough, but even so, I'm not saying I'm not the best reliable person. I'm, I'm just as, just as random guest to me as it is for you. Huh. 
Right, I guess that was it, but apart from that, I think that was quite good. That was quite su su uh, successful. But anyway, we're going to have to end the video here. So if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, even check out my social media accounts, and yeah, even do them all. Why not? Anyway, guys, take care. Bye.